If you have been watching the rise and rise of artificial intelligence, you would see many ways in which it can do things quicker, with greater accuracy and precision when compared to us mere mortals. And what would you do if you had these seemingly godlike powers in your hands and you could apply them to any problem at all? What would you choose? How about the biggest killer of humans on the planet? It's coronary heart disease. It takes one in six of us, and that's more than all cancers combined. A silent, insidious killer that often does not give us the clues, it's catching up to us. Yet there is so much we can do if only we find out about it early enough. And now we can. John Constantopoulos and the team at Atria have been hard at work on this very problem. Our mission is to use advanced AI-based technology to reduce the number of heart attacks that occur every year and fundamentally save lives. When we look at the diagnosis of coronary heart disease, the current approach to detecting it hasn't changed over the last 50 years, and that's really the major cause of where patients are dying of heart attacks, because clinicians are not detecting the true cause. We saw the opportunity to develop AI to enable prediction and prevention of acute coronary events. These events are generally caused by plaque breaking loose from the walls of our arteries and causing blockages, either in our brain or in our heart, with devastating results. Traditional methods ultimately look at the symptoms or the secondary risk factors, but what we found was that that's not what really causes a heart attack. It's an inflammation in the coronary arteries or a high-risk plaque that basically causes the inflammation on that artery. That artery ruptures and then causes a heart attack or a stroke. So the current approach for a clinician to assess a patient with chest pain is to inject a dye into their bloodstream and the clinician then uses a CT coronary angiogram to assess the heart and the coronary arteries and look at where the disease is. The problem with that approach though is that it is slow and time consuming based on the current methodology and they don't see the true cause of a heart attack which is this high risk plaque. And that means that the patient a lot of times is rated low risk, goes home and may have significant risk factors. So we've used AI to assess the coronary CT angiogram and provide a risk overview of the patient to the clinician, and that is detecting the high-risk plaque features that I mentioned, but also we generate a patient-specific 3D model which shows the clinician where the risk is, and we do that all within a 10 to 15 minute period, which means by the time the patient has the clothes back on, the clinician can talk to them about their disease and potentially treat them. The ability for us to assess this plaque and provide the clinician with an overview of what the characteristics of this plaque is means that they can treat the patient a lot more specifically and transform this plaque into more of a stable plaque which is less risk than what it currently is. You're a long way down the path with this business. Yeah. You know, it's not just a concept. Yeah, that's right, Brad. We've been developing this product for about four years now and we're in the commercialization process at the moment. We have regulatory approvals in Australia, New Zealand, UK and Europe and we're well down the pathway with our FDA approach. And we recently signed our first commercial agreement here in Australia, New South Wales, and we're continuously pushing forward with more and more pilots because we want to get this product out into the hands of clinicians and ultimately to patients. John and the Atria team have their finger on the pulse of healthcare and the tools they've created are helping heart specialists save lives.